Shalom, Chabarim, Shalom, Chabarim, Shalom. Greetings, greetings, greetings. So I'm going to call this What Happened to Rastafari Sabbatical on the YouTube. And this is a brand of the LOJ Society, the Lion of the Tribe of Judah Society, the Divine Magic, Adamawi, Hala Salazi, Hakadosh, Baruch Baruch Hashem. And just to make that very clear, because of some other things we found out since the termination since the Rastafari sabbatical channel what happened to the Rastafari sabbatical channel it was terminated terminated from the YouTube's YouTube's platform the private YouTube it's basically a private you know it's a separate company that runs this this is not as we said before it's not a particular human rights it's a human rights for us to be able to speak you know and to express our views that's a human right. So we know what the human rights are, but just to clarify that a lot of these free social media platforms that we utilize, whether it's the Facebook or whether it's um, IG, Instagram, or here on the YouTubes, these are private companies. Maybe they have gone public because of certain business and, and legal things that they're doing behind the scenes, but we've seen YouTubes, you know, change over the period of time that we have been broadcasting, you could say vlogging, um, providing content, original content on to this particular platform. And yes, we had over 5,000 um, videos over the past between I think seven to 10, I think about seven to 10 years, seven to 10 years right there and when he terminated we didn't even have time to really you know back up any data or whatnot it was like this is what it is and you can appeal yes we did file an appeal and we're gonna have all of that details those details not here on the platform because if we go into too much details it might be a community was the community rules violation but so much we have learned and we have grown over the years and the times that we have been vlogging and and you could say broadcasting and providing content and responding to various questions and inquiries into different matters concerning our history or who we be we the black jews of the lion of the tribe of judah all right that's who we be that's just getting right to the we could say right to the core who are we? We the black Jews. We Rastafari Yehudi, Rastafari Jews. So in seeking to move forward with the lessons, the lessons learned, and there's a lot of lessons learned, and hopefully Jah Willing will be able to share some of those lessons learned. But one thing we thought to do is to just kind of announce and have something up on the YouTube. Because if you go even to the Google, you know, it seems as though all of our information was redacted off of the Google as well, right? And what we was able to find is that a lot of, you know, brothers and sisters, a lot of other ones, co-laborers, co-laboring with us in this vineyard of His Majesty have posted, you know, links on their website, links on some of their social media links. And now many of these links, enough, enough of these links, you know, have been um, are basically deactivated or, you know, it goes nowhere. You don't get to see the video. You, you know, you don't get to see a lot of the pictures, the stills. All of that has basically been removed. Now, if we were to go into some of the, you know, um, um, information that's available on businesses, you know, because this is business. And business is another form of war. Business is another form of war. Now, where should we begin? The first thing we should begin is with the question, what happened to Rastafari sabbatical, sabbatical on the YouTube's platform? What happened to our brand? What happened to our channel on the YouTube's platform? Well, as many other content providers who might have spoken or speak to certain um, subject matters, topics, themes, current events that other people and other peoples and other groups find to be controversial have no doubt found that their content has been flagged their content has been you know taken down has been removed from their channel or 
in our case, in the case of many others, that their previous previous things that they have done or they have done with in concert with others have been removed. And even though we're the spokesperson and one of the spokespeople um, and ministers, prime minister at this present time for the Lion of the Tribe of Judah Society here in the Americas and Caribbean, we're not the only one who is involved in this, and there's many other ones that we just need to give them a FYI, right, without uh, violating um, any of the community um, rules. And see, that's, that's the thing. It's not saying that, listen, we're going to remove your channel, you know, let your people know where they can find you, you know, and they can... Of course, if you have other violations, so from somebody, that, that, that whole thing about the violations, community rules. We said, wait, where's our community? And what about our community of over 41,000? 41, 41,000. And what's interesting is that when we looked at our analytics, look at the analytics in the last maybe um, six months to about a year, 12 months, between six to 12 months, our analytics on the previous um, Rastafari sabbatical, you know, had really increased, and that's because of a lot of the cold labors and a lot of the works that many of our subscribers, um, brothers and sisters had been doing, you know, on their social media, you know, linking here and there, and some of their favorite videos, posting links, and the thing that we sought to encourage ones, and some of y'all probably heard me say, you know, while supplies last, you know, while the supplies last. This is not our own platform and even the Internet itself, although it seems as though it's a permanent thing, you know, is here today and it can be gone tomorrow. Seeing that many of these companies that provide these free services and some very good free services, let's not, you know, be as you say, ungrateful. A lot of these services are free, you know, and we can utilize it free. We can post whatever we post up there, high quality. It can be a long video, short video, and they provide for that because over the past six or so months, there's been the investigation into other ways and means that we can utilize to make sure that our content is available on the internet the internet the internet itself is 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 bigger than say youtube's the internet itself is bigger than most of these social media platforms but these social media platforms they are crucial ways of linking people linking with other people about things that they share in common things that they are interested in so forth and so on so what happened to the rastafari sabbatical channel on the YouTubes, it was terminated. Reasons why? The reasons being given because of the, the flags. We regard some of these flags to be false flags, but that's just our opinion. But since this is their platform and they have the ways and means, you know, to remove, they have the ways and means to terminate channels. They have the ways and means to um, I guess you say moderate when someone, you know, finds something to be offensive. And it's interesting because thanks to YouTube's and the YouTube's team, they had let the previous uh, managers of the previous channel, Rastafari Sabbatical, know exactly. And those things came forward to I as well, you know, what videos, what were the particular videos that they found to be um, um, community rules um, violations. And that is a whole other matter right there. You know, we'll get into that, you know, as we move forward, but more definitely on the podcast. We have the podcast and just to remind ones of the podcast. Now, the podcast is a little different platform because that particular platform right there, we pay for, you know, for most of these things like Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, um, WhatsApp, you know, YouTube's, most of these other platforms are free. They provide individual users and content creators, content providers, the opportunity to share their own original content, you know, and their own, you know, content and, and the, the creation, what, what, what they bring forward for free. And to also promote their businesses, their particular groups, you know, their particular 
interest to to comment on certain news and you know <laughs> i think you know rastafari sabbatical had gotten itself in, in in trouble not because it was speaking its truth but because many of yous many of y'all you know and many others were tuning in and the tuning in to the and and who knows how many links were being shared here and there you know it was as uh sizzler kalungi says in one of his um you know that rastafari is the you know he says rastafari is a you know the surprise you know like the surprise what, what what surprises ones and ones they think that well oh rastafari is this rastafarian and they add isms and schisms and all their things and they just take us as a joke team you know but what they get to find out is that when rastafari is properly um administered you know and and proclaimed and the facts are brought forward it really is the the, the, the cornerstone, the head cornerstone, is, is the half of the story, you know, that ones and ones in various different areas, various different things have been fragmented into different, you know, if we speak about Jews or, and we as black Jews, one of the particular videos was about, about that right there. We was actually commenting on some anti-Semitic um, rhetoric that certain other posters it was an old video this was like an old video some years ago you know initially rastafari sabbatical was focused mainly on the torah readings and feedings and some of y'all know that in season out of season as we started to apply the the hebrew science what we was learning the knowledge in other aspects you know showing how the knowledge of torah is our wisdom is related to other areas of people activity and other things that come up in the news and on social media that's where it really became more controversial because then people got to recognize that this is more than just a so-called religion or re religious or in a general spirituality but they are practical you know practical application there's practical principles and there's real knowledge that has been suppressed as a whole half of the story and not to mention what has been going on out there in the state you know in the other state of these here united states over in the so-called middle east not to even mention those particular subject matters that are very controversial to say the least but that does not mean that we will stop speaking the truth. It just means that as Rabboni, our rabbi, the rabbi of rabbis, our black Lord and Savior, Yeshua HaMoshiach, as he so says, be wise as serpents, you know, harmless as doves, you know? So, so wisdom, wisdom is the principal thing. Ha Torah, the Torah is our wisdom. And so seeking to podcast and broadcast even on our own platforms, we ask the brothers and sisters, and mainly those who have the, the skills, the skills, the technological talent within our community. Right? And many times we have to sell ourselves and sell our skills elsewhere just to make some, you know, make a basic living, you know, within this world system that we are presently in. And that is definitely understandable. But we also need to build our own community and we have people that have the technological skills to you know build websites to manage websites to you know servers and do all these things that many of these other companies provide their services for free but we need to have as they say a plan b right and one of our main plan b's even previously you know with um our team on rastafari sabbatical was to um, have ones link us at our website, you know, and to also share, you know, whether, you know, I have a newsletter, things like the newsletter, things like also have um, like a, a text blast so ones and ones can get that, things like notification and all those things in the YouTube's platform. That was very useful, you know, very serviceable, very useful. You know, we give thanks for all of that. It's just that the, the right to appeal it's almost like, you know, ones want to hear, you know, what they want to hear, whether it's true or not, and don't want to offend, I guess, you know, those who 
are probably part of the whole conglomerate that's going on right now. So let it be understood that the channel, the previous channel was terminated. All of the videos, you know, that have been posted, they, ha they are in the archives. However, we did not have any other platform with all of the videos. There's other areas where many of the videos are. Some of the more recent videos that really, none of them were flagged. And when we look at the number of videos that were flagged compared to the number of videos that we had up there, it was a small trifle of videos. But there's definitely those who basically found our content to be, um, you know, too, too effective, you know, with speaking to the other half of the story that they don't want to have spoken to. You know, there may have been certain videos that were there that we can understand, okay, maybe certain things that were said, you know, at the time. It's like flagging an old video that we posted five years ago, right? And so recognizing that that content might have been dated. It might have been responding to something that occurred then, you know what I mean, where tempers and tension was high, but then it's going back to that particular video. There was things that we probably should have, you know, maybe edited a little bit better. But regardless of that, we need to build our own community. And we have our own community rules. And that's what the Torah is for us. And we need to build our own. And I give thanks to those who have assisted. You know, we, I and I give thanks, you know, to those who have assisted. But anyway, brothers and sisters, it's just a, a, it's a quick kind of update you know, with, okay, what happened to um, the Rastafari sabbatical channel on the YouTubes. Basically, it was terminated, reasons being, they say, it was a violation of um, community rules, community rules violations um, on certain content. And more details uh, be forthcoming on the on the on the podcast. We say on the podcast on other platforms. You can go into more details. We'll share some of our appeals as well on certain page that's being um, for Rastafari sabbatical as well. You know, and it's ones that are trying to even steal. You know, steal the name <laughs> as well. But they can't really. You can't really steal from the from the Almighty or the sons of the Almighty because where you're gonna take it where you're going to put it where you're going to hide it and what you're going to do with it you know when others express their rights by way of law and when we have jurisdiction you know it's the fear not just of a black planet but it's the fear of a i'll say a black jewish yehudi israelite you know the fear of a, a hebrew <laughs> that's what it's the fear it's the fear of the truth the truth is an offense but it's not a sin. But brothers and sisters, be wise in the content that you put up. Also back up your content. Also the links of subscribers who are really interested in the content. Also find the ways and means, you know, to do that as we're seeking to find the ways and means. Anyway, this is longer than, than we had intended right here, you know, but just share, you know, sharing a little bit of what we got going on right and yes i check out the podcast check out the podcast brothers and sisters here we go check out the podcast 10 p.m tuesdays to saturdays 10 p.m monday evening is 10 30 515-602-9761 that's 515-602-9761 we still have i think two of the four apps that we had rolled out Two of them are still in circulation, still in usage. Please feel free to use those particular two right there. That is the Rastafari um, Discipleship Radio, the, the live um, app, as well as I think we have the calendar app. Some of the other apps, because they were connected with the channels, you know, they have been um, removed you know, as well by Google, and Google is the one who owns, um, I think they, ha they either own it or they're the ones who, yeah, they, they have the ownership of uh, the YouTubes, if we're correct with that particular information right there. So they kind of work in tandem right there. And many of us, you know, we have these particular Google accounts, so forth and so on. So let's recognize how precarious, you know, the position that we are in and, you know, be wise 
you know, be wise um, in working out our salvation. All right, brothers and sisters, check out the content, you know, the, the, the description, that is the description for certain links will be there in the description and we'll seek to keep ones and ones also if you have ones on social media let them know share this video re like subscribe 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 like repost share this particular link as well as lojs dot org lojs dot org right look forward to podcasting and sharing more ja willing yes i rastafari Shalom, Chabarim, Shalom, Lachayim.